What is up guys, so welcome to Montreal Street Fighter Underground Hype, a player showcased for the Red Bull Proving Grounds 2017. I'm Lord Jimmy Bones and today we're going to have uh, one of the best players in Montreal, uh, Snafu. Thank you for having me. How are you doing sir? So Richard, um, <clears throat> can you tell the world uh, how, long you, how long you've been fighting games? Um, competitively, I started in uh, Street Fighter 4 when it came out in, I believe, uh, 2009. Mm -hmm. um, you know, before 2009, they were showing uh, those little uh, those, those short teaser videos, you know. And it's like, oh, you know, Street Fighter is back, you know, because there was a there was the dark times, you know, when all the CBS2 and Detroit was dying. Mm -hmm. But I was always a fan of Street Fighter 2. And when I saw 4, I was like, no, I like the game so much and actually know like there's a scene. So I'm gonna try to compete and if, you know if I like it I'll continue and try my best. Mm -hmm. So I, I started at 354 Vanilla, yes, in 2009. Alright, cool. Well you're known as uh <coughs> Dawson player. You've been playing Dawson for the last last eight years. And uh why is Dawson first? Um so I I knew from the get-go that since um, the scene, it was, uh, it's mostly constituted of uh, OG players, right? Mm. They play for so many years, so I knew from the start that funda fundamental-wise, I'd have to play catch-up. So I knew like if I play up close, I'd probably lose for a long, long, long time. Mm. So and then I saw, because um, you know in Japan the game came out before, right? And they were showing full footage on YouTube and stuff, and I saw. Uh, EO win the first Japanese tournament with Dawson and I was so amazed how a character from full how he could control the character I thought back then I thought it was really cheap like Dawson was like you know broken and super powerful I had this funny mentality because everybody was saying oh Sagat is top tier right he's the best character in the game and I saw him beat Sagat and I'm like if Sagat is top tier then Dawson if and if Dawson beats Sagat he must be better than Sagat mm. so this is a really like when you know nothing about your fundamental way. This is like from a guy who's starting from the scene and I'm like, okay, I'm, I'm really excited to hit you. And I, and I thought that if I hit you full screen, you can hit me back. So from there, we even though I started late, it'd be uh, more of an even matchup if I was like, I don't know, a Ryu player and I'm playing a Ryu mirror. So the fact that keeping you out and frustrating you, it was really exciting for me. So you played season one. Yes. And uh, overall, and then we're on season two at the moment, yeah. and uh, you're still playing Dawson. Yeah. Um, how do you feel about Dawson in season two? Um, when I start a, comp a new competitive game, I realize it takes me a while to understand the engine and how the game is played. After two weeks, people told me to play Dawson, and people thought that, oh, Dawson is top tier, you know, he's so good. Um, even when I played Dawson, I was still stuck in the mind of the concept of uh, Super Turtle, like this uh, Street Fighter 4 style, you know? But what we didn't realize is this game is so different than than uh, than four. You know, I tried to play super safe. We just learned that this game is a, it's heavily favored for offense. So even then, when I played Dawson very defensively, it took me a lot of times. Like honestly, like I more than a month to grasp. Oh, I could drill pressure or even Gale. I didn't even when I started Dawson in five. I didn't even touch Gale for a month. I wanted to have the basics down and I told myself Gale is an advance and just learn the fundamentals of the new limbs angles. You know, because all his limbs is mostly different, right? Mm. So I went drill, really traditional, fundam very fundamental. Speaking of Red Bull Proving Grounds, what is, how does it feel, what is, does it mean for Montreal to be in part in this event? Um, it means a lot actually because um, usually in Canada, we don't really have those kind of opportunities. It's really the only time we kind of have it is like when uh, Lapchi, shout out to Lapchi, he's the, he's the one bringing uh, Canada Cup, you know, and bring so many international players and making a big event in, in Canada, you know. But uh, this is a big thing where a big company like Red Bull is giving us the opportunity, okay, Montreal, we're giving you um, a location to participate in this in this event, right? Montreal and Toronto, actually. You know, um, through through Street Fighter Four, I couldn't I couldn't say before because I wasn't back in the scene. Um, 
Canada was kind of left out, you know, unless you kind of make a big splash like Air, because he went to Japan and he beat Justin Wong. Is like, oh, you know, Air was so good, mm. but beside Air, there was no real other names, you know. And then we had, luckily, we have uh, in Montreal we have a Chirithi, but beside those those Air and Chirithi, we kind of we kind of left out, you know, which is oh, it's Canada, you know. So this is really big for us. This is a probably our biggest opportunity to actually. Uh, we're on equal foot versus Americans in terms of, of you know chances to, to do something big to go like because you know they have ESL and all this, all this stuff we don't have those kind of thing right this is a huge opportunity this is to show how the game is growing and esports is growing and it's giving me what what they're trying to show us is like we see you Canada you're not being left out who will be your toughest opener in the tournament oh man I want to say so many players um, a lot of new bloods are getting better every time I see them play. It's more crisp. They have the mind game. They have the setups. I want to say my, my, probably my biggest threat is Dre Yomi Games. He's playing Laura. Mm -hmm. He has a style that he's not. He he's playing it fearlessly, so it's really hard to control him. He he's never really scared. That's the, that's the problem in, in, in this. And he knows that if he touches me, I'm super scared. And you know he with her strength, it's really. Um, Abusable on Dawson, you know, I have a floaty jump, I don't have a good walk speed. She has a command grab, you know. Um, it's Laura. It's, it's just really dangerous. It's really a lot of time. Um, I'd say Flux too, you know. Um, even though I beat, beat him most of the time at NBA, he got me ITS really hard, uh, really fast. He, got me, he caught me off guard. Shout out to him. He won ETS. Good for him. He's a really great player. And you could tell when he plays, he's really... Um, comfortable you know in whatever situation he's he's really I'm actually impressed by his patience because usually this game is so like I want to rush him down you know I don't want to make you breathe he's he's taking like the food approach where he takes his time you know he's, he's not really like he doesn't rush you down he just takes his time and he walks in and super patient compared to other at least other Mika players anyway any final words to uh, close it out uh, shout outs to you to mm -hmm. do this. Yes. Um, shout outs to Jimmy Bones. Shout outs to Rebel for giving us the opportunity. I can't thank you enough. Thank you for giving us not only Toronto, you know, at Montreal too, in Canada, you know. Shout outs to MBA for the for the venue for providing us to, to have a weekly. Uh, it's been running out for a lot of, since season one tournament. Um, yeah, uh, shout out to the community, keep keeping strong. Some people laugh, you know, they don't like the game, but there's always new players. Uh, it's not only, we're not only playing to win, right? We're playing because it's a community, it's fun. Mm. You know, we do events. And uh, yeah, shout out to Red Bull, shout out to, to Canada, shout out to, to us. Mm. That's going to be it, guys. Thanks for watching. That was the first episode. I'll see you to the next one, next time. Ciao. Peace out.